Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 11th of 2023 well, it is titled Messier 51 in 255 hours. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image, as you might guess from the title, of Messier 51. So what is the 255 hours? Well, that is the total extent of the exposures that were used to gather the light for this image. Now, why would you want to observe for so long? Why would you want to look at an object with 10 days worth of observations? And that is because it brings out so much more of the detail. The longer the exposure, the more detail that you bring out. So here you have the multiple images taken by multiple uh, photographers and then put all put together. And that brings out a lot of the faint detail that you would not otherwise see. Now we see M51 is the central galaxy there. And that is a very nice spiral galaxy. In fact, a very prominent spiral galaxy with nice and grand uh, sweeping spiral arms coming out from the center. We see the red and pinkish glow of hydrogen gas around them, as well as the blue light from a lot of hot young stars. We also see a companion galaxy there as well. But when we look deeper and take this very deep image, we can see a lot more detail around it. And you can see that there is an entire halo of material around both of these galaxies, and in fact, distorted off toward the lower right hand side. So that would be a tidal effects by because of the interaction of these two galaxies. The tides of these galaxies will affect each other and will pull some material. So they could be material from these galaxies. These streamers could be other galaxies that have been torn apart by these as well. So we learn a little bit more about the collision that is going on with M51 and this other galaxy, allowing us with this very long exposure to see far more detail than we would see in typical uh, images. We can also see a lot of um, hydrogen gas. In fact, off to the right hand side, we can see a reddish glow. Now the red glow is distinctly hydrogen gas. And it's interesting to see it out there. How is it being excited? Now normally we see the hydrogen gas glowing because it is excited by the hot stars around it. Well, what is happening here that is causing this hydrogen ga gas to glow is a very good question. So trying to learn a little bit more about what is happening in this system. And this is a relatively nearby galaxy collision only 31 million light years away, very nearby in galactic standards, but helps us to better understand many of the collisions that we see elsewhere in the universe. Collisions between galaxies are very common and are, are how galaxies evolve and change over time. And this is how galaxies grow from very small galaxies that existed shortly after the Big Bang to the much larger spirals and elliptical galaxies that we look at today. So that was our picture of the day for August 11th of 2023. It was titled Messier 51 in 255 hours. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 26 squiggles. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.